In today's video, we are unboxing the Wild Game Switch trail camera. We're gonna go set it up and see how it works. So this trail camera, the Wild Game Switch camera, was a $60 trail camera that I picked up at Bass Pro Shop. So this is what comes with the camera. The camera, it's a nice, small little, Nice little camera, not too big, not too bulky. This particular one comes with some sort of ratchet cinch strap, I think that's what that is. The other ones I have have like little bungee straps, which are kind of nicer than those, but we'll, we'll try that out. We have eight batteries it comes with. They're not any name brand or anything, but it does come with eight batteries and a 16 gigabyte SanDisk SD card. So we're gonna open this guy up. But here's what we got for our user face. Okay button, plus button. We have our presets, which what do we got here? We have video there picture down there off in the middle we have a delay and we have a zone sd card is pretty self-explanatory slides in there like that unlock the battery tray unlock position oh that's kind of nifty slides out like that then like that so that is the unboxing and that seems to be all the setup that is needed pretty straightforward if you don't just if it's not simple just look at the uh instructions we're gonna go outside then we're gonna set this camera up we're gonna let it out for about a week and then after that we'll come back look at the pictures see what i think about it and i'll let you guys know if this camera is worth it or not So I'm walking up to the double ladder stand that I shot my buck out of last year. That's where we're gonna put this camera. So I don't really know where this trail came from. It's probably my brother on the dirt bike and a four wheeler, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's my brother on his dirt bike. Don't quote me on that, but there are a few deer tracks on it, which means the deer are using it to travel. Like I said in previous videos, the deer like to take the road most traveled, the path of least resistance. I would almost guarantee it that deer are traveling on this deer trail. So, don't know if I want to put it on this little cherry tree here, or on a tree down there, or that tree, or that tree, or that tree. There's a lot of good little small trees here that are just perfect for trail cameras. I think I'll put it on that cherry tree facing this way, so I can see if deer are using this particular path, and if deer are using that trail there. So I think we're going to put it on this cherry tree. So, all we should have to do is Click it into the video position, and that should be all there is to it. Camera is set up. It is currently blinking the green light a bunch of times, which means that it is taking a video. And that is it. And that is the setup. The strap. It's not a cinch strap. It's actually like a little, uh, a little clamp. Actually, is what it is. And it's very, very basic um, concept. You put it through the loop, and you pull it, and then you clamp it where you want it to stop. So it's it's really simple, really easy to use. Anyway, other than that, that camera seems to be doing pretty good. We'll see what happens when we go to check it. If it takes good quality pictures and videos and has a good trigger speed, then it's worth keeping around. So a week ago today, I bought a new trail camera and I put it out about, I'm trying to think when I put it out, it was maybe a day or two after I bought it. We are checking it today. And uh, first things first, I just wanna, on the trail that I put this uh, camera on. So I don't know if you can really tell, but we do have a deer track here. Yeah, you can see that one. And we got one right here. So deer are definitely on this trail, which was actually a dirt bike trail that my brother made. But he told me that he has not rode on this trail in quite a long time, and he doesn't ride it very often, which means that there's probably a good amount of deer traveling on it. So I got the camera here on this little tree. And if you remember, there was this trail here, but there's a small trail right here that comes out. I'll just give you a look. This is the trail that we're looking at. And uh, my buck last year when I shot in that tree stand, he came right out of that woods over there. So I know that deer are traveling on top of this hill back and forth, coming in and out of the corn over there. There's lots of food sources. And this is kind of this oak flat up top here. Hopefully there's some good pictures on here. We're gonna check the camera here, this guy right here. We're gonna look at the pictures then, and I will tell you what I think of this camera. Alrighty, so the Wild Game Switch camera, let's talk about it. Let's get it, let's just do a quick review. Stay with me, hang in there. It's a $55, $60 camera. So it's an affordable camera. It's a, it can be used as a beginner camera or just if you want an extra camera, um, it's a nice little camera. Compared to my other wild game cameras, it takes a pretty decent video and I'm happy with it. It's got a pretty sleek look. It kind of looks like a tree, so it blends in pretty well. It's got an easy to use clamp strap to put around a tree. It can be used on small trees and big trees. On the other hand, the one con that I would say is that the slide so you can access the buttons and stuff is a really difficult slide. Push it in, pull it down, and it doesn't always do it. And it's 
kind of tricky sometimes and I don't like it. Other than that, the user interface is pretty simple, pretty easy to use and pretty straightforward. And of course, like any piece of technology, if you can't figure it out, there's directions. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to pick up a Wild Game Switch camera and use the link in the description, you can buy one on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, found value in it, give it a like. And if you would consider subscribing, remember that's an option. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Thank <music> you.